my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you a really lovely and oh so simple blanket called the Midwife Blanket. Now there are tons of variations on this general theme and pattern, um, and this is just one of many. So if you see something else out there, hey, do what works for you. That's what I always say. Now, I was able to create a fairly nice sized throw using just one skein of Lion Brand Pound of Love, and I used a size H crochet hook, which is a five millimeter hook. Now, for today's example, I'm going to be using a size I crochet hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook with worsted weight yarn because I just happen to have this lying around. And I think this is, I want to say the color gold in Red Heart Super Saver, or maybe it's impeccable by loops and threads. Honestly, I can't remember, but hey, it's a worsted weight yarn. I always like to try to let you know what it is that I use in order to have you be able to duplicate it if you wish to. Um, and what's really nice about this pattern is that you can make it as big or as small, narrow, wide, long as you want it because of the way the pattern repeats. It's very simple. It's sort of like a uh, fillet crochet a little bit, um, you know, with a little bit of like sort of uh, the almost like the spider stitch detailing. Really easy, um, very simple repeat. And you can have whatever border you like, although I personally like the sort of open gridded edge that just naturally occurs with the pattern. You know, that's just my personal preference. Um, but you can do whatever it is that you like. So without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie, row one. Now, of course, we need to start off with a base chain, right? Well, for the base chain, you are going to need a multiple of 16 chains plus an additional six chains. And so what I did was for this example, I did two multiples of 16 chains plus my six chains. So I ended up with 38 chains. Now, however many of those boxes that you want, you would just add another increment of 16 chains, and then of course add your six at the end. So, you know, you could make this into a scarf, a wrap, a baby blanket, a throw, really what have you, all right? So, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I just did a total of 38 chains. Now, to begin with, after you do, you know, the number of chains that you want, uh, into the sixth chain from the hook, we need to do a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. We'll do a double crochet like so. Do, do, do. There we go. Now this creates uh, a double crochet with a chain one space. And along the bottom edge, which I showed you just previously, we need those spaces to create sort of, as I said, our our fillet kind of work. Now, is it fillet or is it fillet? I wanna say it's fillet. You know, I could be mispronouncing it all this time. I don't know. So at any rate, we continue on by chaining one and skip the next chain going into the next with a double crochet. You know, I will never, ever, ever say I know everything and so forth. So if I've been mispronouncing it and it's actually fillet and not fillet, please let me know in the comments section. All right, so we're just going to continue on doing a chain one, skip a chain, and do a double crochet into the next chain. So we have all these little boxes for our first row all the way across. So chain one, skip a chain going into the next with a double crochet, chain one, skip a chain going into the next chain with a double crochet, and so on and so forth all the way across. Really, really simple. Um, 
And that's one of the things that I particularly love about this pattern is that the repeat really is that simple. And so you really don't need to agonize or focus too terribly much. It's one of those projects that I refer to as being one that you can mindfully stitch, not mindless. You know, it's not a mindless stitching project. It's a mindful stitching project. Um, you can get sort of into a meditative Zen zone, as I like to call it. Um, and also, it is very, very easy to see where you're at within the pattern. So you can refer back to previous rows and know exactly what it is that you need to do. Easy as that. So I'm almost done with this row, and that's why I'm chit-chatting as it is. <laughs> All right. And besides, I like chit-chatting with you guys. You guys are awesome. And if done correctly, I should end. Yep, I've got my two chains right there. So I chain one, skipping that chain, going to the very last chain with a double crochet. Da 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 da! And that is the end of the first row. Real simple, you know, very, very easy, very, very straightforward. All right, so that's the end of row one. All righty. Alrighty, row two. So for row two, start by chaining four and turn your work and so we're going to commence with double crochets. Now the chaining of four acts as a double crochet and a chain one because these boxes down here also correspond uh, not just on the bottom edge, but also the two side edges as well, which you will see. So we're going to start by doing a double crochet into this double crochet here, right into that stitch. So we're skipping this first double crochet and this chain one space, okay? And continuing right along with another 14 double crochets for a total of 15. This counts as our first one right here. Now what you could conceivably do is you can actually go into this chain stitch which may have your piece look a little bit more finished. However, it will take in my opinion, it will take a lot longer to stitch into each of those stitches just because of the way that I stitch. So me personally, I like to just stitch into the chain space. Again, personal preference, do what works for you. You know, if you don't like the way it looks in one way, try it in another. Okay, so that's two. And three. Just alternating back and forth between stitching into the double crochets and into the chain one spaces. Real simple. So I've got two, four, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Didn't catch all my plies there. 12. 13. Oh. 14. And if I counted right, this will be 15. But you know me, I always like to double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. Perfect. Okay. Then we need to create another square. So these 15 stitches is actually one square's worth of stitches. So because I did two repeats, this is going to be our second square. So chaining one, 
skipping the chain space going into the next double crochet, and then another 14 more double crochet stitches for a total of 15. And if you have more repeats than I have, which if you're doing a blanket, undoubtedly you do have, um, you would just keep doing this in this exact same fashion. You know, I didn't want to go crazy with the repeats, but doing two does exemplify how the pattern does work. Or it would make a really cute doll blanket, you know, <laughs> or um, it would make a rather substantial width for a nice scarf. You know, one across, maybe not, but two across, definitely. Alrighty. And I'm almost there. You know, really, it's just, for the most part, it is a lot of double crochets. All right, so if I counted correctly, let's see, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 15. Booyah! All right, so then, to finish off, because we have our square here, we need another square, right? So we need to chain one, and then skipping this first chain here, going into the next one, with a double crochet. Because we need to maintain that chain one space. All right, so with this example piece, we have one square, well, the beginnings of one square from thumb to thumb, and then from thumb to thumb. So we've got two squares that are starting off. Alrighty, so that's the end of row two. Alrighty, onwards to row three. So, starting just like we did in the last row, we start by chaining up four. Turn the work. And skipping this chain one space, going into the first double crochet right here with a double crochet. So we can maintain this box edge here, this open box edge, and need to do an additional five more double crochets for a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Chain three. And then skip three stitches, one, two, and three, into the fourth right here. Continue on with our double crochets, a total of six double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So as you can see with our first square, that's where that first eyelet, that lower eyelet is formed. Okay. And then we continue on with our repeat. So Going on into the next square, we would chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet into the next double crochet, and five more for a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six, chain three again, skipping three stitches going into the fourth with a double crochet, of course, 
and then five more double crochets for a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and, oops, six, chain one, skip that first chain going into the next chain, or you could say it's the third from the bottom, one, two, and into the third, or the second from the double crochet over here. Either direction is fine, just as long as you have a, a chain one space right here. All right, so that is the end of row three. So you can see that this gridded open uh, border down here is continuing on up the side and in between our squares here, and of course, all about symmetry, on this side as well. All right, so that's the end of row three, nice and simple. Alrighty, row four. So, you know the drill, chain four, one, two, three, four. You're always starting and ending your rows exactly the same way, so. All right, so after chaining four, double crochet into the first double crochet right here and we need another three more double crochets for a total of four. So that's two and three and four. Okay, chain three. And so we're skipping these two double crochets down here and into this chain three space, we're going to do a slip stitch like so. Then chain three again, one, two, three. Skipping these two first double crochets going into that third one with a double and three more doubles for a total of four. Okay, and so our first square is coming along rather nicely. And then continuing on to the second square, exactly the same, chain one, skip the chain space here, going into the next double crochet with a double crochet, chain, uh, not chain, three more double crochets for a total of four. So that's three and four, chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the chain three space, like so. I'll do that a little bit slower. I have a tendency of going a little bit too quickly, I think. One, two, three, and then just grab the yarn. Now it's not a single crochet, it's just a slip stitch. Okay. And then chain three again. Skip the first two doubles going into the third. And then three more for a total of four doubles on this side. Okay, and then chain one because we're at the end here. Skipping the first chain, going into the next with a double because we need to maintain that chain one space for our edge here. And that's the end of our fourth row. I just love the simplicity. I hope you guys do too. All right, so that is the end of row four. We'll continue right along.
Alrighty, row five. All right, so yes, yet again, chain four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work and head out the door. <laughs> All right, so starting, of course, with a double crochet into this first double crochet right here. And then six, sorry, five more for a total of six double crochets. Now, so we've got one, two, we need four more. three, four. Now, the second, sorry, the next two go into this chain space right here. So that's five and six. Okay, so we do have our six. Just like down here, we have our six, we have our six up here. Chain three again, one, two, three, just like we did down in here. And then into this chain space, the next one over, two double crochets. That's one and two, four more in these four double crochets for a total of six. So that's three, four, five, and six. So as you can see, things come full circle. So where my thumbs are, we have six, then we have four, and then we have six again on each side of the floret, if you will. All right, so then we finished this square, so to start the next one, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, skipping this chain space because we need to divide our squares. And then five more double crochets for a total of six. So that's two, three, four, and then the last two into the chain space, five and six, chain three again, one, two, three, into the next chain space right over here, two double crochets, one and two. Four more double crochets. So we have our total of six on this side. Come on. There we go. And then to finish off, chain one skipping this first chain right here, going into the next one with a double crochet. All right, and that is the end of our fifth row. So it's really starting to take shape. Now, of course, as always, you know, if you reach this point, but you have more repeats, well, then you would continue, you know, doing uh, after this, you know, five more, this would be your first five more chain three, um, you know, and so on and so forth. You know, it's just a matter of the repeat, you know, but this is just my swatch here for you guys. All right. So that's the end of row five and we will continue right along. All right. Okay. Row six, starting with our chaining of four, one, two, three, four, turn the work, double crochet into this first double crochet, right there, 
and then 14 more double crochets for a total of 15. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine go into this chain space right here, this chain three space. So that's seven, eight, nine into the chain three space. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, just like we did down here when we uh, started for row two. So we went from 15 across, six, four, six, back to 15. Okay, so then to go into our next square, chain one, double crochet into this next double crochet, we have to skip over that chain space, like so. And that's our first one. We need 14 more. So, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine, go into here, into the chain space, seven, eight, and nine, then continue on into the doubles, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15, then chain one, skipping the first chain, going into the next with a double crochet. All right, da 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 da, we're almost there. Yes, we are, da 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 da. <laughs> All right, that's the end of row six. And row seven. Okay, so row seven is very much like our first row. So starting off by chaining up four, one, two, three, and four. Turn the work. And into the first double crochet. You guessed it, another double crochet. Then, continuing on like we did in this first row down here, chain one, skip a double crochet going into the next stitch with a double crochet. So we've got another little box. Chain one, skip a double going into the next with a double, and so on and so forth all the way across. And that is, quite frankly, that is just how easy this pattern really is. Just keep chaining one, skipping a double crochet, going into the next with a double crochet. And of course, be sure that when you reach your division of squares that you 
know, that you didn't miscount and that you are in fact chaining one and creating another square over the squares in between, you know, continuing on the, the grid fashion, you know, very important. All right, and then, oops, <laughs> I almost did it myself. Chain one, skip one, going into the next. And just keep doing this all the way across for the row. And this is the end of a full repeat. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as I like to say. And of course, you can do as many of these repeats as you want to to get the dimensions that you're looking for. And of course, when you reach the end, after chaining one, you skip that first chain going into the next with a double crochet. Ta-da! And I'm gonna lay this out for you so that you can see exactly what it is that we have done. Also, I think that this would look really great, even better than it does if it were blocked. All right, so you can see that we have our open eyelets all the way around each square and dividing them and so forth. Um, you know, it's really as easy as that. So what you would do is quite simply um, for the next row, you would continue on in the exact same fashion. You would basically be following rows for the repeat, rows two through seven. You know, this one down here, this is our row two. So two through seven, and you would end on a row seven, which of course is, uh, you know, our eyelet row to, you know, finish it off. So again, you know, you would start always, always, always by having an open box on either side, you know, and so it would be 15 double crochets, and then it would be six double crochets with a chain three, skipping over these three double crochets with another six. The following row would be four double crochets with a chaining of three, a slip stitch, a chaining of three, another four doubles, and then it would be another six, a chaining of three, skipping over, and then another six, and then up here, another 15. It's really quite that simple, you know? And like I said, it's one of those patterns that is great for what I like to call mindful stitching. You know, you can really get lost in this project and uh, it's, I love it. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. And I hope you do too. And if you did like this tutorial, you know, I would really appreciate a little thumbs up from you because your support always means so very much to me. And I will put timestamps for this pattern in the description box down below. Um, it's just a matter of, like I said, following rows two through seven. You can do it as many times as you want. You can do as many of these blocks as wide as you want um, and as many repeats as you want. So this could be a baby size, you know, a full, you know, Afghan size, really whatever it is that you like. You know, I would love to hear your comments, of course. And also, if you want to see more videos, please hit subscribe because I do try to post videos as often as I can, whether it be crocheting or knitting or audiobook narration or on my other channel, Fiber Spider Games, I like to play games and give commentary in my own cute and snarky little way. <laughs> so listen, uh, you know, until next time, I want you all to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.